Hello, everyone. Thank you all for being here. I'd like to start by thanking President Dan Dai Kwan and his team for hosting this year's summit and their warm welcome. It's a pleasure to be back in Vietnam. This summer, this summit was a chance for Canada and its partners to take stock of the progress we've made since our last meeting and talk about how we can improve uh, and work together to deepen our cooperation and help the lives of the people we represent. Our discussion began with a sharp focus on trade. This summit was an excellent opportunity for Canada to reiterate its commitment to a strengthened economic partnership with Asia-Pacific nations, one that is, of course, rooted in mutual respect and open dialogue. This past year, Asia-Pacific has further cemented its position as the fastest growing region in the world, and we believe that a stronger relationship will un unlock the untapped potential in our country's commercial ties and create new opportunities for Canadian businesses. That being said, we know that lowered trade barriers and opened markets are not enough to ensure that the benefits of growth are felt by all our citizens. Canada's commitment to open and progressive trade, both at home and abroad, has been unwavering since the beginning of my mandate. My government will continue to demonstrate leadership on this front and advocate for Canadian interests, especially as we continue our discussions on the comprehensive and progressive Transpacific Partnership. We are pleased with the progress we've made to establish a framework for a new TPP during our time at APEC, but there's still more important work to be done to ensure that we reach the best deal for Canada and for Canadians. We know that done right, trade deals can be great news for middle class families and entrepreneurs and small businesses. Our goal is to reach a progressive agreement with our partners that benefits all our citizens and that is in line with our values. With that in mind, we will continue our work on the TPP and take the time it takes to negotiate a deal that works for all Canadians. Finalement, nous avons réitéré notre engagement commun à faire face aux problèmes les plus urgents auxquels nous sommes confrontés, notamment ceux que posent les changements climatiques. Nous avons parlé du besoin d'encourager la croissance économique durable et qui profite à tous nos citoyens. Alors que nous cherchons à renforcer notre partenariat économique avec d'autres pays, le Canada demeure engagé à faire plus pour lutter contre les changements climatiques et maintenir l'élan à l'échelle mondiale. Overall, we've had a very productive time here in Vietnam, and we look forward to continued partnership within the APEC framework. I have no doubt that, together, we can grow our economies in a way that works for everyone for generations to come.